Hey man, real estate say shit. You already know what the fuck going on. So we posted here today. We gotta talk about this situation with motherfucking Kanye West and Drake. So it seems to be that the long feud between these 40 year old almost ass niggas. <laughs> I don't know how Drake, how old Drake is. Kanye is pretty old though. But it seems to be that this beef situation is basically over. It was according to Jay Prince's son that uh, Kanye and Drake basically met in Toronto and had a Canadian truce. Basically came to terms, basically just kind of uh, met together and hashed shit out and were able to talk to each other. Drake, I probably am guessing, apologized for his comments. I don't know if y'all watched the Drink Champs interview with Kanye, but basically Kanye said that the major thing that he had issue with Drake, honestly, Kanye was kind of like respectful about Drake. Like he was saying that he actually didn't really leak his address. Drake's address is kind of a monument in Canada already. Everyone knows that he lives. He also said that Kanye fucking, um, he also said that Drake, the only issue that he really had with Drake was the fact that um, Drake basically said like, was implying that he was fucking Kim and like got a house near him and was like talking about it on sicko mode basically saying that he crept down the block and it's like different shit that like he was saying according to Kanye was stuff that like if you know what he's talking about then you would find offense to it so basically that was the whole thing with Kanye and he didn't really even know if he was dissing him or not and was like saying all this crazy shit and then um their whole situation kind of changed after the drink champs because kind of kind of like aired out like his grievances and sort of like how he felt in the situation now after that he actually called for drake to have a truce because he wanted to have a benefit concert for larry hoover myself and drake uh both me and drake have taken each other and it's time to put it to rest i'm asking drake on december 7th to join me on stage as a special guest to share the two biggest hours of the year live in los angeles with the ultimate purpose being to free larry hoover larry hoover senior who's in jail currently right now facing um i'm not even sure how long he's been in jail for several years at least a decade or so and he's the actual like founder of the gangster disciples in chicago so kanye wanted to meet he had like a um like jay prince basically mediate with Kanye and they had that whole statement where Kanye said that him and Drake should hash out their beef in order to have this benefit concert for Jay Prince, um, for Larry Hoover and fucking, um, I guess Drake right now, I don't know if they're actually able to fucking go about this and this is what they're doing, but it seems like that's what they're doing. I mean, like he reached out the olive branch really just to like for this whole like benefit to be able to free him and shit and he says that he's jailed on rifle but connie's been going hard man he's been trying to get larry hoover out for a minute that was what he said was the real reason why he had the maga hat on and why he went to the white house it's because he was trying to get trump to free larry hoover and i feel like this is just a situation where he's also going to hopefully spread awareness for the situation that he's been into but imagine this like it seems that the whole kanye situation is sort of like a fucking what if this whole beef situation was literally just for the fact that he wanted to free larry hoover like what if the whole reason why he even started this situation was just so in the end he could have a publicity like just enough so he could get more people to realize who larry hoover is and get him free i don't know if that's the case but this is definitely a pretty smart move to like just let bygones be bygones and basically just like try to get drake to do it because drake's like one of the biggest he's the biggest rap artist right now connie's the biggest probably other rap artist right now so it's like them together like they could definitely spread a major awareness to this issue and shit so it's just good that this I would have never really thought that this thing would kind of go into a positive direction and it definitely just goes to show that like I don't know like there's an end to this shit like it doesn't always have to go where to the point where niggas have to kill each other and shit like y'all can talk it out y'all can scrap up and fight and shit but 
honestly at the end of the day i feel like they realize yo we're like the two biggest entertainers and it's like helping nobody having beef it's probably just ruining money like they could have like drake could have featured on kanye's album and shit and it's actually crazy because this beef has been going on a while this is beef has been going on since story of adonis when pusha t dropped that shit so it's just that shit was like years ago that shit feels like fucking forever ago that was like three years ago or some shit so it's just like wow time really flies and it's like a momentous occasion if you think about it and hopefully they use this situation to fucking free larry hoover and shit i mean like kind of had that whole speech where he reached out to drake with jay prince and i guess jay prince kind of mediated this whole thing so we'll see what the fuck is going on with everything but i feel like honestly they're probably gonna end up doing that concert and then in which case kanye will rightfully be the fucking like i don't even know this nigga like the top gd right now this nigga he's doing bigger gd shit than the real like gds that are in the cut like this nigga really out here freeing the nigga that formed the gds like we'll see what the fuck happens with that I wonder, like, Joe Biden could probably get his approval rating up with the hood if he fucking, like, got these niggas to fucking vote by fucking freeing him. So we'll see. I mean, Trump already did it, and he knew he was about to lose his fucking office, so he should have fucking just did that shit anyways. But we'll see what the fuck happens. Real stay safe shit. You already know what the fuck going on. Stay safe collection really out fucking now. Dropping more shit soon. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out the link in the bio. All that shit. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You already know it's below. Peace.